Hi, I'm Joe Ruffalo, President and Chief Executive Officer of Niagara Falls Memorial Medical Center. And we're here to give you our up to the minute COVID update on how we are uh, prepared and the number of precautionary measures that we continue to take with respect to attacking this virus. I'm here today uh, once again with uh, our Chief Medical Officer for Infectious Disease, Dr. Rojender Bajwa, and uh, Amy Wojciechowski, who is our Director of Infectious Disease, uh, part of our COVID team that's been working around the clock with many, many others uh, over the past uh, several weeks. So, <clears throat> As um, many of you know, the governor has asked uh, all hospitals to increase their bed capacity by at least 50%. Uh, we have to have plans in place and submitted to the governor's office by Tuesday of this week. Uh, Niagara Falls Memorial is well ahead of the curve. We have been working on this for quite some time and uh, we will be prepared to share our plan with the governor uh, tomorrow before the end of the day. And uh, we will probably exceed our goal in terms of the number of beds, additional beds required, um, but we're at least pleased at the moment to say that our inpatient census, both on our medical surgical floors and our critical care unit is very, very manageable. The emergency room volume has been very, very manageable. And we wanna thank you for working with us to make sure that you're not coming to the hospital unless you absolutely positively need it with respect to true emergent situation. The, um, along with the plan will be a list of uh, what we need and which would include additional physical beds, additional ventilators, and of course, um, equally important, additional PPE, and um, additional um, testing. So uh, with respect to uh, the isolation masks, the N95 masks, the gowns, very pleased to uh, listen to the governor moments ago with respect to the additional shipment that New York State just received. We obviously will be in close contact with our local delegation to make sure that we get our fair share of uh, the additional supplies and the protection for our workforce uh, that we need uh, both presently and in the event that we do have a surge. The, um, with respect to uh, our planning surge and the fact that hopefully additional testing will be available in Niagara County uh, at some point, hopefully this week. Again, there, there's only nine reported cases and that's basically because the testing has not been available and the few tests that are pending have not been able to be processed in Erie County because of the lack of reagents. So hopefully a lot of that will be uh, rectified somewhat this week when additional testing becomes available in Erie County and hopefully in Niagara County. But um, Dr. Bajwa, with respect to uh, once more tests become available, does that mean that everybody should just run and go get tested? So, yeah, that's a very good question. So I don't think so everybody needs to get tested because uh, we have discussed earlier also in multiple meetings, uh, test which is negative does not hold true that evening or the next day. So that is going to give a false sense of security to that person or employee. So we are not testing anybody who does not have a symptom. So best thing is anybody who have symptoms should be tested for this disease, not just the routine screening because that is not going to help us any anyway. So Say, for example, a healthcare worker who comes in contact with a known patient of COVID, and we are not going to immediately test that person if 
that healthcare worker starts showing symptoms, obviously we're going to exclude him from him, him or her from work and get him tested before we can bring him. So there are strict criteria what we are using and there are guidelines from the Department of Health and we take them very seriously here at our hospital. And uh, the motto of our institution is uh, patient safety first. We will make sure that we are not uh, taking anything or making any decisions which will put our patients or our workers, our staff in harm's way. So again, the testing is for patients or persons who show symptoms. I don't think so. It's a good idea to test everybody once it is really available. I hope it becomes really available now. And in terms of the um, general population going to get tested, um, you know, we know it's somewhat community widespread. Yeah. Uh, and we know that the numbers, once testing becomes available, that the nine that are in Niagara County are probably going to be, you know, 50, 100, 200, 300. But for the most part, most that get tested positive will be fine, right? Yeah, most of the patients, uh, like uh, what we are seeing, like not everybody who gets infected with this virus requires hospitalization. So many of them, they will have uh, symptoms which are manageable with the over-the-counter medications, so fever reducer medications, cough medications. They don't require hospitalization. But then there are certainly patients who are quite high risk. They have underlying health uh, issues like diabetes, high blood pressure, on chemo therapy for cancer, and so forth. So those patients are definitely a vulnerable group. And they, if they get this disease, they are more likely to be admitted for hospitalization. So yes, if you are having sharpness of breath, you are not feeling good, definitely you are showing serious symptoms of this disease. Just fever, cough is manageable at home. But if you start developing a sharpness of breath, that is something serious. and. Uh, that needs to be taken in consideration. Now, Amy, the people out, the residents out there in Niagara County, the ones that are not essential healthcare workers, you know, gen general populations, school teachers, blue collar workers, should they go out and run and get tested? Uh, as Dr. Bajwa said, it's really those symptomatic individuals that we should be concerned about and that we should be testing. Uh, testing asymptomatic individuals at this point in time is not recommended for the most part. Because just, I mean, if someone gets tested negative today, that doesn't mean a week from now, if they got tested, they could be tested positive, right? Yeah, as we know, it is, uh, it is ex uh, spreading in the community uh, based on what we know about this virus. And so just because you're negative today doesn't mean that you're going to still be negative next week. So until you're developing symptoms, that would be the point at which we would want to consider testing. So with respect to our surge plan, uh, again, as the additional bed capacity is uh, well defined in terms of location, part of those additional beds will be additional critical care beds. Uh, we hope to have, uh, you know, we have 15 vents now. We would uh, look to possibly double that number, God forbid, if we, uh, if we needed that. We are also deep cleaning many, many areas. You know, we've uh, started, <laughs> we've started deep cleaning uh, way before spring cleaning started. So um, we are, we're uh, very well along the curve with respect to a number of areas that we've been deep cleaning. The last thing is uh, we will be posting on social media, um, looking for nurses and looking for respiratory therapists with respect to uh, our present complement in terms of what we need and also the potential of uh, if, if there is a surge or when there is a surge, the additional nurses and respiratory therapists that we'd like to, that we'd like to hire. So you'll see that go out on social media today. Please share that with your friends, with your families, ask them to share it and uh, we'll have contact information associated with that. So Amy, Dr. Bajo, any last words? So we, I think um, everybody needs to do their uh, due diligence in uh, this uh, global pandemic. And uh, I would take uh, advice from our leaders and healthcare professionals. We are telling 
social distancing and stay home if you don't have any business to be on road. So please, 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 this is very vital. We need to control this. This disease is controllable if we all step up and do our parts. We're in this together. Yeah, and I would just like to add that here at Niagara Falls Memorial, we are doing everything that we can to protect our patients and our staff. Obviously, the health of our staff is a high priority because if we're not healthy, we're not going to be able to be there to take care of our patients. So we're following all the recommendations uh, recommendations to protect our staff and to protect our state our patients throughout uh, this whole virus. Thank you, Amy. And so again, if you know of a nurse that's looking for work or willing to join our team, uh, we sincerely appreciate that. Keep in mind, when you save one life, you're a hero. When you save 100 lives, you're a nurse. Thank you.